Dogs are beloved companions, celebrated for their loyalty and affectionate nature, but they can also be creatures of mystery and complexity. Whether you're a new dog owner or a seasoned canine enthusiast, you're likely to have a multitude of questions about your four-legged friend's behavior, health, and care needs. From understanding what colors they can see, to figuring out the best diet for optimal health, today we're answering 20 of the most commonly asked questions about dogs. We've gathered expert insights and practical advice to help you foster a deeper bond with your dog and ensure they lead a happy, healthy life. Get ready to unlock the secrets of your canine companion and discover everything you need to know to enhance your life together. 1. How often should I feed my dog? Adult dogs should generally be fed twice a day, while puppies require more frequent meals, usually three to four times daily. Portion size depends on the dog size, age, and activity level. 2. How much exercise does my dog need? The amount of exercise needed varies significantly depending on the breed, age, and health of the dog. Most dogs need at least 30 minutes to 2 hours of physical activity per day. 3. Why does my dog eat grass? Dogs may eat grass for several reasons, including improving digestion, fulfilling some unmet nutritional need, or because they simply like the taste. It's generally considered normal behavior unless accompanied by vomiting or an increase in consumption. 4. How can I tell if my dog is sick? Signs that your dog may be ill include changes in appetite or thirst, lethargy, unusual behavior, vomiting, diarrhea, and obvious pain. If you notice any of these signs, it's best to consult a veterinarian. 5. What should I do if my dog gets fleas? Treat the dog with a vet-recommended flea treatment, wash all bedding in hot water, thoroughly clean and vacuum all carpets and furniture, and treat your home. If you have a flea infestation, it can take a couple of weeks to completely break the flea life cycle. While you might have gotten the fleas on your dog, eggs will continue to hatch, which is why you need to continue to be vigilant with your dog, your house, and your yard if you have one. 6. Is it normal for dogs to bark a lot? Dogs bark for various reasons such as alerting to danger, during play, to attract attention, or when they're anxious. Excessive barking, however, can be a sign of a problem that might require behavioral training or health intervention. 7. How do I train my dog to obey commands? Start with basic commands such as sit, stay, come, and down, using positive reinforcement like treats and praises. Consistency and patience are key, and it can be beneficial to enroll in a training class. 8. What are the best foods for my dog? Dogs need a balanced diet with high-quality protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. It's best to choose a dog food that meets the nutritional standards established by the AAFCO and is appropriate for your dog's age, weight, and health. 9. How long do dogs usually live? The lifespan of a dog can vary greatly depending on the breed, but typically ranges from 10 to 15 years and smaller breeds often live longer than larger breeds. 10. Can dogs see colors? Dogs are not colorblind in the sense they see more than just black and white. However, their color vision is similar to a person with red-green color blindness, where they can see blues and yellows but have difficulty distinguishing reds and greens. 11. How often should I bathe my dog? The frequency of baths depends on the breed, coat, and activity level of the dog. Dogs with oily coats, like basset hounds, may need bathing as frequently as once a week. Conversely, breeds with water-repellent coats, such as golden retrievers, do better with less frequent baths to preserve their natural oils. 12. Is it okay for dogs to eat human foods? While dogs can eat some human food safely, others are toxic. Safe options include carrots, apple slices, and plain chicken. Foods to avoid include chocolate, grapes, raisins, onions, and anything with xylitol. Always introduce new foods gradually and in moderation. 13. Why does my dog dig on my bed? Dogs may dig on beds due to instinctual behaviors, comfort seeking, or even to create a cool spot to lie down. Providing toys and blankets that they can dig in might redirect this behavior away from your bedding. 14. How can I tell if my dog is too cold? Signs your dog is cold include shivering, whining, slowing down, and looking anxious. Some breeds are more susceptible to cold due to their age, breed, or coat type. 
Always ensure your dog has warm shelter during cold weather and consider a dog coat or sweater. 15. What should I do if my dog gets anxious during storms? If your dog is anxious during storms, create a safe space where your dog can feel secure. This can be a quiet, sheltered part of your home, like a room with soundproofing or soft music to mask the noise. Anxiety vests may also help soothe some dogs by applying gentle pressure around their body. 16. How do I know if my dog is overweight? Signs of obesity include difficulty feeling the ribs, lack of a visible waist, and a sagging stomach. Your veterinarian can help provide a guided diet and exercise plan tailored specifically for your dog's dietary needs. 17. Why does my dog lean on me? Dogs lean on their owners as a sign of affection, trust, and as a way of seeking comfort and security. It can also be a way of marking their territory, showing other pets that you are their human. 18. How long can a dog be left alone? The amount of time a dog can be left alone depends on their age, temperament, and training. Generally, adult dogs can handle four to six hours alone, but puppies need more frequent breaks. For longer durations, consider doggy daycare or a pet sitter. 19. Why does my dog chase its tail? Tail chasing can be normal play behavior, especially in puppies. However, if it becomes obsessive or the dog seems to be hurting itself, it could be a sign of behavioral issues or medical problems such as allergies or anal gland issues. Consultation with a vet or an animal behaviorist is recommended if the behavior persists. 20. Why do dogs eat poop? Dogs may eat poop, a behavior known as coprophagia, for several reasons, including nutritional deficiency, boredom, imitation if they see another dog eating poop, puppy curiosity, cleaning behavior especially with females, or health issues such as diabetes or parasitic infections can increase hunger or lead to unusual eating habits, including eating poop. If your dog eats poop, it's important to address the behavior, ensure they are fed a balanced diet, and check for health issues with a veterinarian to rule out any underlying problems. Regular exercise and mental stimulation can also help reduce boredom-driven behaviors like this. In exploring these 20 common questions about dogs, we've uncovered a wealth of knowledge that underscores the complexity and charm of our canine companions. From understanding their basic needs to interpreting their unique behaviors, every question brings us closer to appreciating the depth of their emotions and the bonds they share with us. Whether you're a seasoned dog owner or considering bringing one into your home, remember that patience, education, and love are key to nurturing a healthy, happy relationship with your dog. Keep these insights in mind as you continue your journey alongside your four-legged friend, and always stay curious about the ways you can improve and enrich each other's lives. Until next time.